Lorenzo, are you able to get this up? Okay. I'm not getting it. Lorenzo. <laughs> Loud and clear. Loud and clear, okay, lovely. Okay, let us start. Uh, I think even the numbers build up. Let me now start. Okay, I was saying uh, we are going to do this is introduction to ethical hacking. Introduction to ethical hacking. So ensure that you pay much attention. So this is introduction to ethical hacking. The objective of this uh, um, of this. Uh, module is to one to see overview of current security trends and you have to understand the element of information security uh, the other part you have to understand information security trends threats and attack vector overview of hacking concept type and phases understanding of ethical hacking concept and scope and we are going to do overview of security management and defense in depth. Overview of policies, procedure, and awareness. We are going to do overview of physical security and controls. Thereafter, we will ensure that we do, we have an understanding of incidents management processes. And we are going to, uh, to do, to see overview of vulnerability assessment and penetration testing. Penetration testing, it will have the issues of, of issues of, of do the, the, the practical on the penetration testing. Okay, overview of information security and act law to every organization, there are rules. Uh, so it is important to understand the security or the Information Security Act, which is the law, which is governed, or which uh, 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 protect or ensure that uh, there is no uh, violation of law. So you have to understand that act. It is very, very important. Any queries on that one? Any queries on the overview? Guys, can you learn to answer? No queries, sir. No queries. Because the more when you when you immediately guys in she chapwa, everything will be confusing. I don't want to someone to be in the confused state. No. I want all of you to move as one. Okay, having said that, let us move on. So what we are going to do is, if you check, we are talking about the same. This is the module flow. The way this module is going to flow uh, is information security overview. And we are going to do information security threat and attack vector and act acting concept we are going to uh, hear about uh, act, uh, acting concept uh, and types there are types of acting uh, eh, and phases and we are going to see ethical acting concept and scope in this unit and then information security controls information security laws and standard I introduced, uh, in fact, I said that when I was looking at overview. So it's more or less like we are going through the same. Okay, let us uh, look at uh, the internet. Is uh, Internet is an integral part of business and personal life. What happened online in 60 seconds? So people, this time people, they are so much in the internet. 
you 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 people there at Kapasama Casa, you are so you rely so much on the internet, or oh, I can say globally, people rely so much on internet. So let us look at what happened every 60 seconds. What happened? So have you seen you have YouTube over five million video viewers? Five million within we are talking here on the second. We have Facebook, we have Twitter, we have Instagram, we have iTunes. So these are just the estimated numbers. What is happening on the internet? People who are on Skype, who are in, on Snapchat, Amazon, doing emails, and so forth and so on. Okay? That is just the... Uh, 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 Okay, let us look at the case study uh, on the eBay data breach, which we recorded of one 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 hundred and forty-five million users were compromised. We have a record containing password, email addresses, birthday, mail addresses, and other personal information. That is only on eBay. So let us move. Uh, this is just history. We are just telling you what is happening on the on the uh, on the uh, internet. Case study: Google Play Hack. We have a tax hacker who has brought down Google Play entire system twice, preventing any download or upload to it so this is a case study there's a, a, a taxi hacker who did uh, prevent people from from downloading things from uh from google he hacked that uh, uh, in uh, 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 thing twice which prevent the download just imagine if google uh, in zambia is act and then you are not able to access the entire the entire system. Okay? What do happen? And you people, you rely so much on the, on, on on internet. Okay, so the hacker approached a malformed APK to Android app data to test a vulnerability in the application. This caused the denial of service on the Google Play. When you say <coughs> Uh, vulnerability when we are saying we say we, we someone is exploring vulnerability meaning is exploring is trying to check where the weaknesses is i'll give you an example of a woman a woman uh, a man and a woman a woman can start exploring vulnerability of a man. What are the weaknesses of a man so that he capitalizes on that? Eh? Even a, a man, when he's looking for a woman, he normally exploits vulnerability so that he can capitalize on that vulnerability so if they say they say vulnerability we are talking more or less like a weakness we find where the application where is the weakness and when you find that there is a weakness is when you try to ensure that you capitalize on those weaknesses and you launch an attack you launch an attack so vulnerability is weakness it's weakness so uh it is important those vulnerabilities when they explore uh, they, they are they are checked if there is any weaknesses then you do the attack so even this uh, this guy who 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 who, who, who act the google the tax uh, person first he had to exploit vulnerability meaning they have to exploit to try to check where the weaknesses is if there is any weaknesses then you launch an attack even him that is what he did 
he checked oh ah uh, if i click here i think here they didn't patch they didn't do this and then they and he exploit or they use that uh, and uh, he start exploiting that vulnerability and he prevented the entire people to stop accessing uh, accessing or uploading anything or downloading anything that is what it is so uh, uh, immediately when the uh, vulnerability has been exploited and you, you 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 fail for example these people they failed to what they failed to start downloading they failed to what to start uploading things meaning the service has been denied hence the word denial of service any queries there any queries is it clear very clear sir. It is clear. okay if it is clear well and good please if the if i am first say you are first because when you are introduced you should understand but if you miss out from the way it go it will be difficult for me Amos Ngambi I can see your hand one Amos Ngambi are there any uh, tools that we use for exploiting these vulnerabilities sir it is, it is where we are going when I was doing the introduction, I showed you what you are going to do. There are a lot of tools. That's why you are here to learn. Any more queries, guys? Any queries? Rosaria? King George, any queries? No questions, sir. Fiandi, Filikui? Are you clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, let us move a bit. Okay. So let us look at the, the home depot data breach. This is a case study, meaning it, it happened. If you check, there is 5 million debit and credit card number who were stolen at one point we had that those are the true thing which occurred we have incidents occurred due to customer built manual malware who does that they are hackers so there is another case study this happens we have contacted information for 75 million households and 7 million small business were compromised. From day to day, people are complaining of their system being hacked, being, being compromised because of you people who are learning hacking. I'm lecturing you this ethical hacking. Uh, I want you to be a good citizen. I want you people to ensure that you help in the fight against uh, this sketch. Incidents occurred due to attack on web application. We have uh, uh, a lot of people have reported that there are a lot of incidents. On the web application uh, attacks. So yeah, just giving statistics here. Uh, they are just giving statistics what has happened there we have uh, financial losses if you check there there is sony uh, there we have google who lost 5 million people who were affected by these attacks we have business holding so these are just explaining what has happened this has happened already so they are just explaining there it is not so important it's just history since we are doing introduction. So here we have data breach statistics. We have 3,000, 3 million 
uh, data recorded loss or stolen since 2013 till March 2015. This is a data uh, record loss, lost or stolen from that period, from just 2013 to 2015. Remember, that is just two years. This has happened. So we are saying three million something recorded loss every day in Ju in January 2015. In January 2015, they are talking of now again every hour. What you was the trend every day, every second. Uh, what uh, the thing? Uh, what was happening? Here we are just uh, uh, trying to put you in gear. So data record loss stolen in, in stolen by industry. So if you check, this is a, uh, if you check the one which lost a lot is this. What, what is this when you go there? It's retail. So a lot of people were swindled. If you check, a lot of people were swindled. Finance, you can see that percentage. Government. You can see this percent. And then we have healthcare. These are data loss or stolen by industry. Because each industry uh, 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 is being affected in one way or another. So here again, we go to breach by source. We have malicious, malicious outsider, incidents loss, malicious insider. You know, you can attack the system even when you are in that organization. We are in, when you are inside, you can attack, you can do malicious. So that's why they are saying outsider. Uh, malicious uh, uh, done inside. So meaning there are people who can be malicious inside and outside. We'll talk about this when we we'll, when we'll be dealing, when we'll be dealing with the um, uh, social engineering. You will see how um, social engineering is being done. Social engineering can be done by outsiders. Social engineering can be done inside. So meaning an attack can be done inside. There is a, the inside attacker and outside attacker. Okay. Any queries there? Before we proceed, this is just history. I'm just the... Uh, going through this for the sake of preparing for more, more things. Any queries on that? No, sir. Is it clear, Rosaria? Is it not clear? It is clear, sir. Okay, we proceed. We are just, uh, I'm just uh, uh, talking about history. What has happened, what to what happens in an industry, we are just explaining. But we'll go deeper as we go on, as we go on, as we go on. So, we are talking of malware trends in 20, just in 2014. Just in 2014, what happened? We have a source code leak, accelerating malware released. We are just explaining about what happened on these things. It's not so important. That one is not so important. Don't this is just history. Maoya, we are talking of 2014, we, where they are saying an attacker increasingly now execute ex, ex, executive and compromise organization via professional social network. So these uh, they are talking about where uh, people um, uh, compromise via professional social network whereby someone comes maybe uh, becoming a friend be friend become friendly to to one of you for example uh, let us talk about kapasama kasa someone an outsider become so familiar with the place through of course being friendly with it, one of you can make that particular person to attack an organization yeah? through professional social network. For example, you may be chatting with someone whom you don't know and he's getting the information from you because you are friends 
through the internet. You can even be starting giving him information at the end of the tunnel, that person uh, 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 do the what? Do the attack. Okay. So we have Java, main I exploitable and I exploited with the expanded pre pre re, pre execution this I don't know this uh, word so another thing an attacker are more interested in crowd data than your network people are so uh, an attacker they are so much uh, uh, they are so much interested in what in in data data is very very important they are so much more interested in what crowd data that data which you have hidden that data which you have put somewhere so they get that information and use it to uh, arm the what the so we have a share volume of advanced malware anyway this is just history also uh, uh, this is history it's not so much okay let us talk about essential terminology please pay much attention on this uh, essential terminology i may even bring a question here hmm? that is a uh, how useless i am for me i'm good at even telling you i may bring a question here hmm. hey are you with me yes sir, yes, sir. Hey, John. Yes. Are you there? No. That's for me. I'm useless. That's why I normally tell you. I'll bring a question here. Pay much attention, eh? Yes, How I will bring that question? Even me, I don't know. No. You're breaking, sir. Thank you. Thing is worth doing it, or is he interesting it? Yes, let us share. I hear someone is talking. Guys, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So we are saying arc, arc value. Arc value, it is a notion of among archives that something is worth doing it or is, is interesting. So a person, even you, you can't come to Kapasamakasa to start doing this ethical hacking, whatever, you start doing this cyber thing. Unless is really those things is worth doing it so since we have seen that uh doing cyber is worth in doing it that's the reason why you are at kapasamakas similarly similarly an attacker can can uh, can start attacking a certain organization or some or a certain uh, website when that person sees that this is worth doing it or when he sees that these things is really interesting it if it is not inter interesting why why doing that so when you see something there are something which is what which is worth doing it it's or if you see something interesting it's when you start doing it is it clear on that one? Yes, sir. Is it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll yes, bring sir. this. You cry. I don't want any more cry. Okay. If you are clear, let us go to zero day attack. What is this uh, animal called z uh, zero day attack? So, an attack that exploits computer application vulnerability before the software developer release a patch for the for the vulnerability so meaning there is this computer application 
which are vulnerable, which have vulnerability, meaning it has a loophole where someone can exploit. So before a developer uh, doing something or do a patch, or I can say before you close, eh, they at Kapasama Kasa when you are given a room, before you even eh, lock it with a key, someone hammers it. That is what we call zero day attack. Before the application vulnerability, before the software developer, it is a patch for vulnerability. Meaning, before the patch, before the uh, the the lock, for example, before you lock, before the key is given to you of the room, they go and attack what? They go and attack it. They go and attack it or they go and open that particular door. That is the zero day attack. Are you clear there? Guys, are you getting me? Yes, sir. It's clear, sir. Yes, sir. Is it clear? What understand by the name what zero day attack? Can you write something? Yeah, I'm a... something. George. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, see, there is no anyone who is complaining at the moment, but let me assure you, I'll bring something on this one. But I repeat, what is this animal of weakness? One design or implementation, implementation error that can lead to an expected event compromise the security of the system. That is what we call vulnerability. That is what we call vulnerability. Oh, I can see some hands there. Eh? What is the problem? Why are you suffering? Who is he? I can see when I marry, I don't know this type of Mary. I can see Lawrence, Linus, Muselu. Okay, let us start with Mary Chanda and then Lawrence and then Linus. Let us follow like that and then we continue. Uh, okay, Guys, so can I you ask? ask I can see one. Zero day attack. Is it possible? Is it possible you can say that uh, zero day attack is the type of attack that happens after an after an announcement that has been made? Concerning no. uh, the no. or something like that. Is it possible you can write like that? No. No. That you can't say that. This, we are saying an, an attack that exploits computer application vulnerability. Before, when someone is planning to patch something, before you close, before you are given a key, then an attack has been denied. Whereby, I give you an example of maybe you are building an offense. You are building an offense, offense. Now you are just remaining with a gate just to put the gate there. There and then, before you put even in the gate, but I will plan a few gate, and the criminals comes inside. You are planning to do that. Before you do, an attack has been hammered. Before you release, a patch is more or less like a gate. Or for example, I built Nakulinganda. Eh? I built a house with the windows, but I haven't put the grasses. 
before I just put the grass grasses, or before I put a bagraba, an attack occur. That is what we call zero day attack. Mother Mary, are you getting me? Yes, sir. Is it making sense? It is. You are a programmer. You have programmed something. Before you put the security measures, before you tighten up security. Okay, for example, I've, I've built a house. Before I call even, or before, uh, uh, before I hire the security to come and guard me at home. Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm getting the security tomorrow. And then in the night, the hammer, that is what we call zero the attack. Because you are planning to do something, to patch up something, and then in the in the in the in the process, people uh, uh, you you attacked. Is it clear? Yes, it's clear. Madam Maria. Okay. Yes, sir, it's clear. Madam Maria is clear. Okay, that's good. Uh, who is the? I I told you that you follow that order, Madam Mary. We have sorted out. Who else? Lawrence, it's uh, me. You were three of you who wanted to ask the, the question. Yes, sir, it's me, Lawrence. Next next question. Okay, Vashiro Le Langen. Yes, sir. My question is uh since you are saying uh zero day attack happened when before you uh before the, the software has been released. But how come the vulnerability has been um, uh, known if you haven't launched the, the software? software developer releases? This software has been launched. That's why they are saying, have you seen? Before the software developer releases a, pa a patch for the vulnerability, meaning this, it is in use. Now you want just to patch that particular Thing. all right sir i get are you getting me yes Let sir me read again an attack that exploits computer application before the software developer releases he has already developed a system and it's working now he wanted to just patch before he patches an attack has been done that is process is what we call zero zero attack zero 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 day attack okay are you clear sure yes, sir yes sir it's clear guys okay there was there was another one another yes sir one it's me. was asking something yes sir, one? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir it's me but now it's clear i had the same question lawrence has asked Oh, better. If uh, clear, then I'm also happy. Okay. <laughs> let us now look at let us look at vulnerability, which I said existing of weakness, weakness design and implementation error that can lead to an unexpected event compromising the security of the system. So vulnerability, those in short, I can say those are the weaknesses. To everything, there is a weakness. Even you, Madam Mary Chanda, you have a weakness. Hmm? Even you, my Ziti uh, Elvis Sokonpwe, you have the weakness. No man is perfect. George, you have also the weakness. Every one of us, we have a weakness in us. Hein? So, can I a weakness? You see, a governor ability that weakness which people can able to capitalize. Our judging, I'm having a na 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 to quite ah, I like solve you see that weakness. So, if you as the system, you have that what we call vulnerability. So, that vulnerability, every system has the vulnerability. That's why they. The an attack as you as you become an attacker, you you are going to have you are going to explore vulnerability 
when the system is being developed anywhere, that's why in organization they employ uh, ethical workers like you people you'll be employed so that you you know you should know and you should test your system the weaknesses of the system what weaknesses is there how vulnerable is your system eh? so that if you know the vulnerability of that system you will know how to patch it you know how to protect it. you know how to uh, prevent it against it, the an attack so that is all about vulnerability any queries any queries no sir okay. any queries is it clear no queries sir it's clear okay one will come okay let us look at what we call daisy chaining what is this daisy chaining what is this animal oh i can see the end from is it from from obed is it obed or what these people want to join I, i'm not seeing the people to join in you say that uh, okay. eh? The engineers, uh, after creating an application, they, they create a patch. Let's say, for instance, you create a software like WhatsApp. How, how do they make a, a security patch? How do they patch? Eh? There is a software, for example, when, 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 when I can when say, 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 I can 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 say, very bad feedback so uh, uh i can say patches can be some updates in any thing there is even updates i have better for example you move on you move on you move on yes at one time at one time you move on you move on when you are young they skip on updating up patching up you know giving you a matter of so equally in software they are what we call patches they are supposed to updates are supposed to be learned from time to time upgrading things even you you were in, in what in the first year now we have upgraded you you are now in second year equally software are supposed to be upgraded from time to time because of things are changing every time things are changing so upgrading updates are very 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 important i if i make myself clear yes sir thank you so much are you clear if you are not clear please stay ensure that you stay and ensure that you know these things otherwise one at one time one some someone somewhere somewhere they are in kapasama gas or start crying peacefully when i'm enjoying my cup of tea so i don't want that i want all of you we move as one is it clear guys Yes, sir. If it is clear, uh, mm -hmm. let us now moving move to um, uh, move to days chaining. This involves gaining access to one network and or computer, then using the same information to to gain access to 
multiple network and computer that contain desirable information. This is it. Simple and straightforward. Unless someone wants me to clarify on that one. Exploit, exploit. This is a breach of IT security through vulnerability. Exploiting is more or less you are going around, you are che checking that particular system of certain organization to find ways and means of checking where is the vulnerability. So that process is what we call exploitation. You are going foul by foul, trying to check where there is weak there are weaknesses. That is what we call exploitation. Okay, let us move at the doxing. Doxing, what is doxing? Doxing, publishing personal, uh, uh, personality identity information about an individual, correcting from public available data and social media that is what we call doxing that is simple and straightforward any queries let us go to payload what is this payload payload is the part of an exploitation code you create a code that perform intent malicious action such as destroying creating backdoor hijacking computer you just create a, 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 a code which is malicious, which can um, which can um, can bring misery. It can be it can bring maybe denial of service or other things. So that is what you call payload. The other one is bot. What is bot? A bot is a software application that can be controlled remotely to execute or automate define task whereby you do remote control eh? it's able to do some task so that is a, a bot any queries before we go down to element of information security any queries, Madam Chanda? Majority. Some clear. You guys, are you there? You are clear. Okay. Yes, sir. Clear. Yeah. Yeah. Let us see. Okay. Well, I can see people are not right. uh, paying okay. much attention. Can you break for five minutes? Okay. Okay, let us break for five minutes. Let us come at the uh, let us break at seven minutes. Let us come at ten ten. Hello, you can get Hello? you, sir. George, Ooh. hello, you can get you. We are here, sir. Okay. We proceed where we ended. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, we are going to look at the element of information security and the, uh, this element of information security, as you can see, we have confidentiality. integrity, availability, and each and every item. These elements of influence security uh, are very, very important in IT. So information security is a state of, of well-being of information and infrastructure in which possibility of theft, tempering, disruption of information and services kept Law or tolerable by something which you can tolerate. Hmm? Something, for example, a vehicle you can be driving a, a, a vehicle from point A to point B, and that vehicle as a fault, as 
something which you are supposed to attend to. You are supposed to ensure that you work on that particular thing, but you can able even to use that vehicle. That is the word keep low or tolerable. Something which you can tolerate, and then you while you are you are you are you are you are, you are driving, you can tolerate, you can uh, you can use that particular thing. That is the word uh, uh, tolerable, something which you can tolerate. This let me remind you on the element of information security. I'll bring one question. That question will come whether you like it or not. So please don't say Tabala and Dine. Uh -uh. It's quite unfortunate for those people who are not here so far on this uh, unity. I'll bring some questions. Uh, so far, I've seen two questions which I will bring, which I expect you to know. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Guys, are you with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So assurance that uh, the information accessible only to those authorized, yes. that is uh, that is confidentiality. The information which is not supposed to be accessed by the information which are not supposed to be accessed by a uh, old Jim and Jack. So there is what we call confidentiality, meaning. For example, a woman and a man who are married in the in the, the, the marriage. The information, there are some of the information which they are just supposed to be kept between the two of them. Even in IT, we have that. So this is an assurance that the information is accessible only to those authorized to, to have access. Those people don't have uh, uh, access or those who don't have uh, authority to access that information they are not supposed to uh, 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 yeah, they, they are not supposed to show uh, the information so information are supposed to be authorized to only those, those people who are supposed to get that information the information of your 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 exam or whatever is supposed to be shared just between a lecturer and yourself, not any other person. It's supposed to be confidential. For me, I'm, I can able to access what you have, what you. Have. It's just me and you. So I'm authorized to access your information, and you are also ac authorized to access it. The, uh, the that particular information so meaning only the two of us were supposed to know that okay any queries on the confidentiality any queries no sir oh guys any queries okay let us no go queries, to sir. what we call yeah. integrity what is integrity? Assurance that the system. No queries. So let us go to integrity. Integrity is the trustworthiness of data or resources in terms of preventing improper and unauthorized change. So the way the information is, that is the way the information should be received to you. They are not supposed to be any change. Eh? They are not supposed to be any change of information. The way the information is should be like that. That's why they are saying the trustworthiness of data or resources in terms of who preventing improper or unauthorized change, meaning the way I've sent something to you, that is the way they are supposed to. They are not supposed to be someone to temper and change the information and then forward it to you. That is becomes now the problem. It means that in, uh, in, uh, that information has lost what we call um, uh, uh, it has lost that that mean that the actual meaning. 
because someone has changed it, someone has tempered it. So integrity, the, the same information which I got, which I sent to you, that is the way supposed the, 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 the information should be. That is integrity. The worthless, worthless of data or resources in terms of preventing improper and authorized change. So there is only authorized, now unauthorized, when it becomes unauthorized, it becomes a problem. Okay. Let us look at the availability. Despite there are issues of security and there, but the information should be available to authorized people. So we are saying assurance of the system res responsible for delivering store and processing information accessed when required by the authorized users. We are talking of authorized users should be those which are authorized we are not talking of unauthorized when it comes for unauthorized it becomes a problem the people who are supposed to be accessing the information are those who are authorized that is the meaning of availability the information should be available despite they are supposed to be say the actual information they they, they they are supposed to be secured secured but the people are supposed to uh, to receive the information especially for those who are authorized to use that particular information any queries there on the availability and integrity is it clear is it clear guys it's clear sir is it clear yes okay it is clear let us look at what we call what we call authenticity authenticity what is this authenticity refer to characteristic of communication document or data that ensure that quality of being genuine this data should be or the information should be a genuine one it's not supposed to be a tempered one so that is the authenticity so the authority the the authenticity refer to characteristic of a communication document or any data that ensure that the quality of being genuine so the data should be a genuine one not a fake one no Okay, let us look at the, the last one is non-repetition. This is a guarantee that the sender of a message cannot later deny having sent the message, that the recipient cannot deny having received the message. This is a non-repetition whereby I send you the message and then you say, you say, no, Taman to me, it's not the actual message, no. So the is the sender cannot, meaning I, if I'm a sender, I'm not at, at one point, I should not deny that I'm not the one who sent the message to you. Eh? I should not deny that it's not me who sent the message to you. And the, best, the receiver of the message should at not any point say, no, I'm not the one who received that message. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Are, are you clear? Mm. Okay. Let me just tell you, study this, I'll bring. I can say sometimes differentiate between availability and the integrity. Differentiate this or this or and explain the what? Uh, the what? I can say if I want, I can say, I can say, uh, if I want, I can say, 
I can say list or list and explain the element of information security and differentiate between authentication and the confidentiality. I can bring that. And what do you understand by the term non-repetition? I can bring that. Not so. I think that you at least we have very good you guys, eh? Hello? Hello, guys? Hello? Hello? Hello, guys? Can you hear you, sir? Hello? Hello? It seems I have a yes, network if you are listening. Uh, let us just meet on Monday at 17. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.